Have you ever stopped to ponder on how the illustration of religious figures can shape our comprehension and perception of faith? In particular, one figure that never ceases to generate immense debate is Jesus Christ, a cornerstone in Christianity and a prophet in Islam. Today, an absorbing discussion has taken hold of scholars, theologians, and even social media enthusiasts alike. This conversation is centered around a statement made by Russian President Vladimir Putin regarding the notion of black. The ensuing discussions have opened up a plethora of questions about racial representation in the portrayal of holy personas. This subject, laden with historical, cultural, and religious significance, compels those who delve into religious history, history, iconography, and interpretation to take a closer look. The Black Jesus debate is not just a matter of historical accuracy, but also involves racial representation, religious symbolism, and socio-historical contexts. This complex dialogue incites curiosity, challenges established beliefs, and encourages a deeper exploration into religious scriptures. It pushes us to reevaluate the influence cultural and historical contexts on the racial portrayal of religious figures. On one side of the debate, there are advocates who argue that the illustration of Jesus as a black man is in line with the descriptions provided in the Bible. They cite verses from the Book of Revelation that describe Jesus as having hair white like wool and feet like unto a brass, as if they burned in a furnace. They interpret these depictions as indicative of a man of African or Middle Eastern descent. These proponents present evidence, historical accounts, archaeological finds, and, and geographical context to back their assertions. They emphasize the importance of racial representation in religious symbolism, arguing that depicting Jesus as black offers a powerful image for people of color and challenges the dominance of white figures in religious, in religious art. Yet the portrayal of Jesus as black extends beyond historical accuracy. It's a potent symbol in contemporary times, a reflection of our own beliefs and values. It presents an opportunity for introspection, for challenging ingrained biases, and for fostering an inclusive understanding of religious figures. This debate has been reignited by President Putin's recent statement, compelling us to revisit our understandings and challenge our preconceptions. The image of Jesus, whether black, white, or somewhere in between, is a mirror that reflects our society identity. It's not just about historical fact or religious doctrine, but a dialogue about our present and future. It's a reminder of the power of representation, the significance of historical context, and the continuing relevance of religious debates in our contemporary. Remember, this conversation is not about creating divisions or asserting a single correct viewpoint. It's about fostering an enriched understanding of religious texts, about opening our minds to the vastness of interpretations that can exist in the folds of religious scriptures. It's about not just reading the words, but also delving into the spirit of the religious texts that can bear multiple each one, as profound as the other. The core aim is to promote the inception of a deeper comprehension, a comprehensive recognition that goes beyond the realm of mere words and ventures into the world of context and subtext. It's about understanding that every religious text carries within it a world of meanings, a spectrum of interpretations that depends on the perspective from which it is being viewed. Moreover, it's about acknowledging our perceptions of religious figures, the ways we perceive their words, their actions, their beings, are often influenced by our cultural and historical contexts. It's about realizing that the way we see, interpret, and understand the world is greatly colored by the background we come from, the experiences we've had, and the lessons we've learned. It's about understanding that our views are not pure, untouched by our personal life stories. We are the culmination of our past experiences, our cultural norms, our historical lessons, and these elements play a significant role in shaping our interpretations of religious figures. It's about accepting that different backgrounds breed different viewpoints, and that diversity in perception is not only expected, but also welcomed. It's about recognizing that the very essence of faith lies in its deep-rooted complexity, its vastness, and its immense diversity. In summary, the debate about the portrayal of Jesus, whether black or otherwise, invites us to engage with our faith in scriptures in a more thoughtful and nuanced way. It calls upon us to delve deeper into our faith, to question, to ponder, to reflect. It asks us to remove our cultural, historical, personal glasses and view our faith through a prism of objectivity and tolerance. It's about acknowledging that faith is not a stagnant entity but rather a dynamic, evolving concept 
that is continually shaped and reshaped by the world around us. It's about understanding that faith is a deeply personal journey, one that evolves and matures with every interaction we have with the world around us. It reminds us not to take our faith for granted, to question, to explore, to seek, to understand. It reminds us faith is not just about believing but also about understanding, about knowing, about questioning. It reminds us that faith is not a destination but a journey, a journey of discovery, of understanding, of enlightenment. So as we navigate this fascinating debate, let's remember to approach it with an open mind, a respectful attitude, and a willingness to learn from one another. Let's remember that the essence of this conversation is not about proving who is right or wrong, but about understanding each other's perspectives, about learning from each other's experiences, about growing together in faith. Let's remember to approach this debate not as adversaries, but as companions, as fellow travelers on a journey to a deeper understanding of faith. Let's remember to respect each other's viewpoints, to value each other's interpretations, to learn from each other's experiences. After all, faith in all its complexity and diversity is a journey we all travel together.